Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this video, we're going to do something just a little bit different. I was contacted by Brew, the Gourmet Tea Club. This is a subscription box, a tea subscription service out of the UK. And uh, they reached out to me and asked if I would like to open one of these boxes on the YouTube channel. Now, I am a tea drinker as well as coffee. Uh, I tend to prefer stronger teas like an Irish breakfast tea or a uh, Yorkshire or something like that. Um, but that's not enough. So I wanted to bring a cereal at midnight hook to this video. So here's what we're going to do. This is what I, th I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Uh, we're going to sample the teas from this box. We're going to open this together. We're going to cover the box, uh, see what all's inside. And then I'm going to pair, I'm going to try the tea and then pair each one of those teas with maybe a British TV show or a British movie that I think close, most closely represents the, pr the flavor profile of the tea. Does that make sense? You understand what we're doing here? So I thought that would be a lot of fun. It'd be, it, it would allow us to talk about some, some UK based entertainment while also enjoying some delicious tea at the same time. So that's what we're doing in this video. This is the subscription box. They are, as I say, they're out of the UK, but they have international options. The website touts that uh, each cup of tea, you know, after the subscription service, uh, you know, the cost, it breaks down to like 12 P 12 pence per cup of tea. So it's like, it's like 15 cents us, wherever you're at, you adjust the, <laughs> adjust the rate accordingly, but it's sealed. This is a box that is sealed. Uh, and I'm just really curious to see what we're dealing with here. So let's open it up together and then we'll go from there. All right. This is happening live there. Well, it's not live live, but there's no turning back. We've passed the point of no return. All right. We have some, some writing. What is this? A share your brew with us on social. All right, here we go. Oh, look how classy. I feel, I feel prestigious. I really do. This is a nice presentation. I think there's just the faintest scent of, uh, of, of, of wonderfulness. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's no elegant way to do this. I was going to try to just like gently pluck the sticker off, but there's no, no, it's just, it's just a torn, it's just a torn mess. Let me start over. No, just kidding. No turning back. Okay. All right. Looks like our, uh oh, hold on. <laughs> looks like we're starting in Japan. Um, let's see. Discover Japan. Oh, wow. Look, it's all these, uh, this this detailed write-up about these teas shizuka shizuaka oh i don't even feel like i have the liberty to pronounce that how to make the perfect holy cow you guys um this month we're visiting the shizuaka <laughs> sorry uh tea region to introduce you to an amazing green sencha tea blended with roasted rice a luxurious delicacy with a very distinctive taste the tea is known locally is jinmaicha again not sure about the pronunciation. Here's uh, there's all the writing about it. And it tells me how to brew it. It talks about antioxidants. So let's see. Oh, here we have a coupon code. You guys, if you want to do this, there's a coupon code. I'll tell you, when I was looking on the website, it looks like the one month box for the United States was like $13. Because it's not just like one cup of tea. Okay. Oh, wow. Famous Dragon. Uh, here's what we're dealing with, guys. We're dealing with loose tea, which I prefer. Loose tea, you make it to your own specifications. You're not dealing with one bag. So loose tea. Uh, this is the Famous Dragon. Let's see. What is it? A truly luxurious white tea made from the finest ingredients. It features a blend of white and green tea with exotic lashings of dragon fruit. This drink is one of the main reasons we're so addicted to loose tea. Creamy, fruity aromas that linger right through until the last sip, but we know that it certainly won't be your final sip. Wow, this is from the Yunnan, the Yunnan, the Yunnan province in China. Okay, that's that's that one. We also have biscotti. <laughs> you see what they did? There's not biscotti. Biscotti. This is a. Uh, let's see. Let me compare these. Yeah, I don't, it's, can you guys see through the, see through the, the, the U there? This is a, more of an herbal sort of a thing. This looks like, um, I don't even know. Oh, it even gives you like the appropriate one teaspoon at 90 to 100 degrees Celsius, two to three minutes. 
a light black tea that's loving its new spicy Italian biscuity home. Why we love it? Oh, that is good. The fruit fragrances, orange and apple, arrive at the nose, rounded. Hold on, I gotta take this little clip off to read it. Arrive at. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna go on. <laughs> Sit here and read tea descriptions for 10 minutes. Um, and then the last one, we have this is our third tea, is. Uh, oh, hold on, there's another tea in here. Lemon waffle. Ooh, that sounds. That sounds nice. What movie would be a lemon waffle? Um, let's see. What is it? A citrusy fruity tea with sweet hints of waffle. Think freshly baked dough doused in lemon cream caramel. The concoction is a delight to your taste buds. All right. Let's see. We also have, uh, it just says discover. And then, so I don't have any description for what this is. You guys, there's a, there's a protein bar in here as well. A natural protein. What is this? A uh, Vive Natural Protein Snack Bar, 10 grams of plant protein, <laughs> salted caramel, coated in Belgian dark chocolate. Well, that sounds absolutely wonderful. Okay, so we've taken our first step. Uh, I'm not going to open this last one here because I have no, it does not seal itself back up. And I don't want, I don't want this to go everywhere. So I like that it just says discover. It's like a mystery tea. So we are going to join the adventure i'm gonna go brew these i don't like will i try them on camera or will i just report back to you maybe i'll just do video of of the of the brewing process and show the teas and then i'll come back here and we'll talk about like oh well this closely represents this so to be continued heath transition out and then trans we're gonna i'm gonna teleport down to the kitchen area and I am back. I have tried all three teas. I am wiser. I am more elevated. Guys, I have the three tea trading cards here. <laughs> what if these were trading cards? They had like statistics on the bag, like, oh, Biscotti scored so-and-so, and it has a, a ratio of, like, it's just, you're like, I'll trade you a, a famous dragon for your English breakfast. So guys, I've done a pivot here. So the original plan was to do like British movies because this is of course, Brew is a UK based company. Do they ship internationally? But we're dealing with Japan. So I thought it would be most prudent if I pivoted and we did uh, movies that have some connection to Japan. So let's start with Biscotti. This is our black tea. And I just wanna read the ingredients to you because I have tasted it now. By the way, I don't add anything to my teas. Uh, these days, I just take it straight up, man. No uh, no honey, no sugar, no nothing. Just the tea uh, as, as God intended. <laughs> so, okay, the ingredients for biscotti. Uh, beautiful teas, by the way. These are all in their loose form. They're all just, uh, they're spe <laughs> specimens. That's where I'm at now. Just like, that tea is a specimen. Uh, black tea, apple pieces, cinnamon bits, coriander, cardamom, uh, I'm sorry, cardamom pods, orange slices, pink peppercorns, and cloves. Now, the cloves have a tendency, cloves have a tendency to overpower everything that they're in. Uh, they're noticeable here. If you like cloves, they're there. I'm not wild about cloves, but I enjoyed the tea, so they're not, it's not overpowering the best movie guys. I've got the movie. Do not forget. This is a movie comparison. This is a movie. This is the, the brew tea movie challenge <laughs> I, don't know, I might have to work on a better title for that but the movie that i think close most closely represents the biscotti is the last samurai black tea is a traditional i mean look i know all this stuff is from asia but black tea is most closely associated with england it's associated with america you know here in the south we drink iced tea all day long that's a black tea your, well, should I name name brands? No, well, just your black tea is a, it's a staple of Western culture. We just drink it by the gallon. But you add, this tea has been to the East and it's come back with, uh, well, it stayed over there and it's got all those other things, the cardamom, the, the cloves, the, the Indian influence. It does give a flavor profile here and it says that uh, some of the Indian tea is uh, most famous from the region that this comes from. And they connect it to Robert the Bruce. 
Well, it says Scottish explorer Robert Bruce. Maybe that's not Robert the Bruce. Maybe it's a different Robert Bruce. Um, so I think The Last Samurai is the, the best. Even the color, right? Like the color of the poster and the color of the tea, the yellows. I did not plan this. I didn't, I didn't pull these movies until after I'd tried the tea. Of course not, because I thought we were doing English movies. So anyway, Biscotti and uh, The Last Samurai. Moving on, what is our next one? It's the green tea, <clears throat> the famous dragon tea. Now this was a very, this was not what I was expecting at all. Uh, green tea, you know, very delicate, very soft, but this one had a kick. So here's the ingredients. Oh, this is going to be difficult. China Sencha, Kukicha, Pai Mutan, Dragon Fruit. Now that Dragon Fruit, let's come back to that. Lemongrass, Kiwi, Raspberry, and Pomegranate. Um, pomegranate arils. I guess that's the word. Uh, the dragon fruit really elevates this. You're expecting one thing. It's a very gentle experience. It's a very eh, kind of maybe a noble tea. It's a very um, sophisticated, very mature profile. But the dragon fruit, right? The dragon fruit really takes it to another level. So I thought maybe we could talk about just the films of Sonny Chiba. This is, was this an excuse for Heath to show his Sonny Chiba DVD box sets? Maybe, but no, I really think that Sonny Chiba, a noble actor, he's a wonderful actor. He also has the spirit of a dragon, the punch of a dragon. Now listen, Bruce Lee was the dragon, right? But Bruce Lee was not Japanese. Sonny Chiba was Japanese. Sonny Chiba was the Japanese Bruce Lee. So you see what we're doing here? We're connecting Sonny Chiba and the dragon legacy to dragon fruit in the tea, which I think really comes through. That's the lemon waffle, which I think really comes through in the famous dragon tea. Um, it's good. It's really good. And uh, it's it's got to... Uh, Again, it's unexpected. It's I, I do not. I was not expecting that dragon fruit to be so. And, and then you've got the the, um, the the citrus notes as well. Guys, the last one, the lemon waffle. Uh, this was delicious. This I, I don't. I say don't put anything in my teas. This didn't need anything. Listen to what's in this tea: apple pieces. <coughs> excuse me. Apple pieces, pineapple cubes, cut lemon verbena, uh, cream caramel pieces which contain uh, sugar, condensed uh, milk, glucose, uh, etc. And uh, let's see, malt, dextrin, sucrose, potato starch, lemon oil. Um, I can't read my, my, my aged eyes. Blackberry leaves. Oh, is that the one that I thought I smelled? Blueberry, we have blackberry leaves. Uh, and it goes on. But the, the takeaway there is that this does not need anything else. This is sweet right out of the right out of the gate so i thought the best comparison for this would be gamera because as we know gamera is the giant japanese he's a kaiju he's a giant japanese monster but the tagline for gamera is friend to all children right if you've seen the gamera movies you know he was a friend to all children he was very friendly with the little ones and i think this tea really ties into that because this tea is uh it's that natural sweetness it's got that it's, it's you know it's called lemon waffle that's a it's a delicate delicacy that's not the word i'm looking for it's um it's a confection that's the that's what i was looking for it feels like a confection it feels very desserty but like the gamera films that are friends to children not just for children and it's because i'm an adult i'm a grown man and i love the gamera movies as well i love that giant monster action so it's not just for the kids it's for anybody anybody but it's a good gateway for children because it can uh like hey look at this and just like gamera you end up showing him like look at this so now we're, we watched gamera and now we're gonna watch lone wolf and cub and they're like what and then we're gonna watch the seven samurai uh so that was the the lemon waffle guys i gotta say i'm really impressed i think it's a really cool if, if you're of the tea persuasion, I think our job here was to taste and see and to see what we thought about what we came away with. I think it's a pretty cool deal. Uh, for $13 a month US, 10 pounds. In the, so if you're in the UK, this ships for free, I believe. But if you're outside of that, it's a few bucks extra. But um, it's not just like three cups of tea. If you saw, you know, hopefully you understand. Like this is multiple cups of tea. I think the, the solicitor, the, the information on their website says it's like 30 cups of tea, 30 to 40 cups of tea. I personally will not get that out of it because I like a strong stout tea. But um, 
this was our job to see what we thought about it and i think it's cool i'm actually considering um doing another month because here's the thing you can kind of specify your fields of interest for teas and me being a stronger black tea kind of a guy uh, i'm curious to see what the other offerings are and then you can get like a protein bar and that mystery tea and everything so it's very cool uh that's the uh that's the verdict that's the cereal at midnight verdict the guys brew the gourmet tea club i'm going to put all the information to where you can find this in the description of this video uh but i think it's cool and i want to thank the brew tea club for reaching out and sending this so we could sample spread the word to you guys uh like like cereal tea is good at midnight as well especially herbal tea because it won't keep you up you gotta go to the day job the next morning guys thanks so much for hanging out talking about the brew tea club and comparing to how many times am i pick this up comparing to uh movies <laughs> this was a lot of fun thank you so much take care and until next time i will catch you later